Okay, tips to put back the motor in your frame. So you got the brake line here, the power wire here. Make sure that the uh, battery switch is tucked in like this. Make sure the brake line goes to this side, which is the drive, the chain side. The power wire is, can be actually squished between the motor and the frame if you leave it here. Best is to tuck it that way. So when the motor is inside the frame, it should look a bit like this. See, on this side right here, there's not much gap left. So best is to tuck the wires here so they, they have some leeway so you can move them around and plug them in. So here's a tip on how to put the motor in the frame. You hold the power wires like this. You just put this end about right here, not directly where the, it, sh it should mount, but just a little bit. So you got just enough space here to put the first pin in. So. So now you, you can work on the motor, make sure with your fingers that the power wire and the two main connectors are sticking out and are not getting squished between the frame. So mine are just fine. I'm gonna push the motor in and I can still move the power wire, I can still move the speedo sensor and same with the main harness. Speedo sensor is quite loose. I can, I got enough space here to tuck more inside the frame. So can't show you how it looks, but the wire should be, you should be able to move the uh, power cable left and right. It should not be squished under that part rear at the bottom. So then all you got to do is put back the pins in. So it's always easier to work upside down, start with this one and then make space for the wires. Hope that helps.